Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Early Reich. I'm Ostrilla, and today we are in Regency. So we're just doing a little bit of administration uh, while we wait to go to war with Muscovy because I want to vassalize him because he has a war score of 98, which is perfect size for vassalizing. Um, so we need to activate, I just noticed that we finished uh, when we finished economic, we didn't activate one of our policies, so we're going to activate discipline. And we're going to activate artillery combat ability, because we, we have, I mean, not during this regency, but generally because of the power projection and because we've been humiliating, we've been flush in, in stuff. And we've actually been having to do development. We're like always ahead of time. Oh, I can get that. We're always ahead of time. So I think... Think we can use some of our policies so let's go artillery combat ability and let's go mm, i won't do leader siege ability just yet i'll just see if i can remember to activate that when when our next leader dies when we have to respawn our next leader we'll get an additional pip in the siege but i really really like this super super guy so, yeah, I just need to remember, <laughs> when we finish an idea, I have to go looking at the, um, at the things. So, the economic ideas, the economic ideas gave us the, um, discipline and, and, um, artillery combat ability. Well, um, what else are we going to do? Uh, we're going to have to spend a little bit of points, I think. Maybe. We're going to have to spend some admin and some military. So, I wonder if those... We only just built those buildings. Let's just sort by cost. Can't improve there. That's 172. I think we've, we're building an ossel. So, I don't want to actually use ossel. Because we've built an ossel. Um, did we build in pod? Podlian? I don't think we did. I think it was ossel and let. So, let's just spend couple there just to hold us back so that we can get the next um, admin tech and also military so again sort by cost 172 172 335 we we've built in bender so i'll leave bender alone for a sec we built in ossel um we didn't build in celestria so that's 300 so i reckon i can spend two three that should be enough yeah, we're very close. We're only two years behind. Okay, so... Rebels. Well, we've got Muscovites. Um, let me just double check. Muscovites are... Not this one. Muscovites are here. So you go sit here, and Muscovites are here. Let's see, minus 5.5. So I think it's the troops sitting there. So actually, you're on Re Rebel Subversion. And we could have... Separatist down here as well. That's Astrakhani Sep Separatist. Okay, lose Diplo Power or lose Absent Merchant. It's only 10 Diplo Power and I don't want to lose... It's minus 10. I think we're probably more dominant up here now. Uh, yeah, that's not really going to have any effect on us. We're very, very dominant. We're pushing... Almost all of our income. I think Sweden, yeah. Sweden's pushing in our direction as well. So that's fine. Before when Muscovy had stuff and they were, like, collecting there, that's that, that was a concern. But it, it doesn't really matter now. So let's just turn suppression on. Um, what else? Alright, so our troops are transferring across... We are... We're at our cap there. I think we're at our manpower cap. Yeah, we're at our man cap, manpower cap. So let's build... Let's see. Oop. Great advisor has died. Muscovite rebels have spawned. Whether they spawn? Yep, you should be fine. Uh, ooh, we could get a morale of armies plus 10%. Or land maintenance modifier if I want. He will probably be cheaper than a level 1. Although... I would like an extra 10% morale. 
Yale could use an international airport. Um, Army maintenance is 52.8, so that's going to be um, 5.28. Um, yeah, it's going to be cheaper than the level 1 advisor if we get the land maintenance modifier. But it is morale of armies plus 10. That's our income. Oh, we have war reps. We have a little bit of war reps. But, I mean, aside from that, I think we've got pretty good income. So, what I'm going to do is... Did I set the timer? I did not set the timer for this new episode. Alright, I think we've been recording for about five minutes. Where's my piece of paper that reminds me... Ah, here it is. It fell down. That's what it ha what happened. I normally have a little piece of paper that sits in front of my thing telling me to set the timer. I think we can afford to get the morale of armies guy. I want an extra 10%. Why not? We're space marines. We deserve it. So... Alright, I think that's it. No, nope. there's one more. Let's go and sit on it and see if we can get rid of it. So that's down here. Or at least reduce it so that it slowly fades away to nothing. Uh, that's seven. So six, five, no, let's actually accelerate it. Let's just make it trigger. 10% chance, 2.3 years. Alright, so we're going to decrease army maintenance and just keep an eye on it. And I'll bump maintenance up when it hits 90%. Um, we're about to hit our cap again, but have we... have the buildings finished? Um, yes, I think it has. That's 20. University, yes. Also, um... Let's finish. Alright, that should be fine. So, we just need to get through to January, when we're not one year ahead. Kasim Separatists. Do I have any Kasim land? That doesn't look like it. We're at 80%. You stay in your land, and I'll stay in my land, and we'll be much happier for it. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's see if we can convert more land. Some of this dirty, dirty Sunni land. Oh, uh, Saxony. Sorry. Didn't notice that. We should probably do our claims. So, we need Cassell and Thuringen, and that's it. Covert. Fabricate claim. Cassell. Very good. Fabricate claim... Oh, we already have three of them. Alright. I don't think we needed anything else. Let's just double check. Thuringen, Cassell. Oh, we need to get over to Sashen. We need to get Sashen. So we can go... This way. We can do that in a further war. Because we need to take Bamberg as well. So I think we take this one and this one, and then that will give us a border with these two. And Thuringen is one of the ones we need. Then in the next war we take this one and this one, that will give us access to Nuremberg and Sachsen. Yeah, that's going to be the best way, I think. Um... Hmm. We could declare war on Theodoro, and I think Austria will probably join us for that, and then I'll just co-belligerent Saxony. And then that way uh, um, Austria can join us in the war. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. We'll just take Kassel and Thuringen, so immediately we're fine to go elsewhere. I have a lot. I may as well claim. I'll claim a bunch of stuff. Uh, let's claim... I'm not going to take it, because the uh, aggressive expansion will be huge. But... 
Also, we are imp allied with the Emperor now, so again. So he's not going to man anything. Um, Panholt, may as well. May as well just use it up. Panholt, no. Let's go Hanover. Alright, you guys can come back from there. Uh, let's improve relations with you. How are your claims going? Good claim. Good claim. You're very slow at claiming. Why aren't you claiming? These two here. Why are you claiming the Netherlands? I'd love to go and get this, just to so we have a land bridge. Who are you allied with? Saxony, excellent. We can co-belligerent... No, we're not declaring war on Saxony. Uh, anyway, I want, I want this because... I want Holstein and I want Lubeck. I can return core for you. And I'll just take Holstein as well. That's not in the HRE, that's in the HRE. You're in the HRE. Alright, let's get a claim. Actually, we need a claim on... We need so many claims. Do I have a Cassus Belli here? Alright, we need one claim on Muscovy, just so I can vassalize Muscovy. So... Let's build Spy Network with Muscovy, so that moment we come out, I can just use this and just go plow, plow, plow through, and then we're fine. Our Inquisitor, our Discount Inquisitor died. Damn it. Um, well, that would be 65. One event will be 75. Oh, no, it would be, se sorry, not 65. It will be 75. One event will be 85. So I can't recruit a discount minister. Um, let's get a cheap one. National tax plus 10%. I think... Yeah, that's going to be 4.7 per turn. Yeah. Let's go national tax. Uh, we are... Yep, we can get this. Ooh, we can get Absolute Monarchy. National Arrest minus 5. Discipline plus 5%. Oh, yeah. I think we might switch to that. And we've got... New units. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Alright, let's have a look. Uh, so... What do we got at the moment? Production efficiency 10% and national tax only 5%. And we can switch to national unrest minus 1, discipline 5, and monthly autonomy change. So our income will go down a little bit at the start, but the monthly autonomy change, what's our autonomy look like? Um, local autonomy. All of this is, oh, well, they're, they're, um, they're not, they're not states. But still, mm, I've got a little bit here. 12%, 2, 12, 10, 2, 5, 43, 16. We've got a little bit of autonomy. I'm... Um, some of this is flawed because we've already got that, but I reckon the the monthly autonomy change will increase our income over time. It's a good investment, I think. So, plus, how can I give up the five percent discipline? All right, let's have a look and see what our income will change by forty six point seven, and I mean we can always switch back if it's really bad. 
46.7 and the absolute quantity key is going to change us to oh wait let me go to the end of the month just because it might change no it hasn't really changed uh, it updated when the new advisor came in all right so let's change it now absolute monarchy um, what was it 46 point and so that's two two points eight yeah that's that's great for an extra five percent discipline what's our discipline now 130 percent we don't have a discipline advisor we have a morale advisor instead Wow, that's just amazing. Uh, let's be a little bit more sensible with states here. Um, yeah, I want Moscow as a state. We kind of own all of that. Um, let me just double check. It's just that, right? Who are you? You're Protestant? I didn't make you Protestant. How did you convert to Protestant? You weren't my land. You didn't break away from me. I don't see any... I doubt the uh, Protestant Reformation Center has worked that far. That's weird. Very, very strange. Alright, well let's turn Moscow into... Moscow into a state. And core Moscovy. And I might not... I might leave these as territories for now. Let's just have a look at the state map. Kazan. Mm, we own everything in Kazan. No, we should keep to accepted culture. We're going to need some states. I need some states free down here because we're eating into our accepted culture. So our culture is... Oh, well, it's not going to do it because we it doesn't show accepted culture unless you've actually owned the land. But this is our culture. This is our culture group here. So let's try and stick within these states here from now on. Just now that we're hitting our state cap. We're hitting our state cap, we'll just stick to here and let them be territories. In fact, we may even give some of these territories... Maybe even give these territories to Muscovy when we vassalize them. Hmm. Uh, hungry. What? You've come out of your out of your thing straight away, and you want to go to war with Ragusa and Saxony? Um. Yeah, that's fine. Last time we went to war, uh, you actually gave me stuff from Saxony when you pieced them out. So I don't mind. Let me just double check that I've got things set. I absolutely want these two. But um, these are optional, so it doesn't really matter. I can't call that one, so you're not going to give that to me. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, army maintenance up. Um, so we're war with Ragusa, Saxony, and Munster. Yep, that's fine with me. This is one way to get around the Regency Council, is let your allies declare war. Oh, Hungary has a... They were from house, my house. Ooh, yeah, that's right. You're not allied with Austria anymore. You haven't rivaled them. You just stopped allying them for some reason. But... You'll get my dynasty. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's um, 
Let's get some troops back. So, you can stay there and suppress rebels. You guys can come home. And... Let me put ships away. You guys go home. Uh, let's see. National tax 50% or... No, obviously national tax um, 50%. Yeah, that's... Yeah, yep. Uh, let's keep some Diplo power. Okay, can we... We can go war. Let's go kick his head in. Watch Ma, no hands. Do we squish? Squish! Let's squish again. Squish! Uh, let's grab all of our claims before we take the capital. So... Yeah. Let's go run right over here. Very good. Um, I'll just put a leader in charge of you. Let's see. You can get... You are Urz. So I'm going to put... Um, I don't know. Otto in charge. Then you go over there. Um, Urz, Otto, Victor. Victor is now in charge here. You go over here. Ooh, I should probably leave a leader in charge. I don't need for a one stack. Leave Victor in charge over here. Very good. Let's just siege up more. That's great. Um, so we've got the ones we wanted. Let's siege down the capital. And you can just siege up the rest of it while we're waiting. Income from vassals, excellent. You can go up here. That's going to happen really quickly. That's the four siege general? Yeah, that's the four siege general. Um, you go kill him. That annoying little insect. Um, very good. Go and get them. We're about to take his capital, which is great. Let's get a little bit more war score with him as well. Um, 8, 8, 5, 20. I'm going to siege that one and that one. Let's go Matterberg. Yes, you can have access. You can have access. I don't care. Very good. Very good. Uh, actually, yeah. Let's come down here. Sashin has fallen. So that's the capital. Let's go siege that. You can siege that one. Split. Oops. Shouldn't have engaged that without a leader. Uh, Ragusa was full annexed. Ooh, Saxony will cede Thuringen, Hanover, and Kassel to Prussia. Excellent. And we got 14 favors. We basically won the war for... Um, we won the war for Hungary and they were so happy, so pleased with us. They gave us everything we wanted. Look, it looks nice and... Looks like, you know... Not gangly through here anymore. We've got options. I like it. How much aggressive expansion did we get for that? A uh, fair bit, but we're in a regency for a couple more years. We're in a regency for a little while longer. So, what is it, 11? We're 12 years old. Another three years of regency. So, aggressive expansion will come down a little bit. We have our better relations over time, guy. 
So... Um, and we have lots of power rejection. And that's giving us tons of prestige. And our prestige is giving us 45% better relations over time. So everything's coming down... Let's see. 3.3 3 per year. That, I think that's pretty good. So all of you guys can... I don't know, go over here. Go to a 65. And then we'll recombine and split you up. Um, you guys come over here. Um, I can't get my claim on Muscovy yet, but the moment we finish our thing, we're going to go to war with Muscovy. Okay, so that's basically my timer, so uh, please like, subscribe, and comment, and follow on Twitch, and I'll see you next episode. Bye for now.